Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Kinder Bueno no bake cheesecake, let's begin. To get started on the recipe you'll want to melt your chocolate, so place your chocolate into a heat proof bowl, then microwave until the chocolate has melted. Set aside and allow it to cool, you'll need this later on, then you can start the base, so into a saucepan place your butter and place it over a medium low heat and allow it to melt. Then you can blitz your biscuit up in a food processor, this is the easiest way but feel free to place them into a bag and bash them with a rolling pin, you want to get a fine crumb. You can then go ahead and add in the butter over the blitzed up biscuits and you'll want to get it fairly distributed but don't worry once you start mixing it it will incorporate its way through so don't worry if it's all in one area just blitz until it's fully incorporated then you can go ahead and transfer that into your six inch deep sided cake tin and then just compress the base down using the back of a spoon or a cup measurement that works well so to start on the cheesecake filling you'll want to grab yourself a mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place your soft cheese which is at room temperature. Using it from cold will not achieve the same results so please try and keep your cream cheese at room temperature. So just take it out an hour before you intend on using it. Then add in your icing sugar and the melted chocolate mixture from earlier on. You can then go ahead and whisk all of this together until it's fully incorporated. It may take a couple of minutes, but don't worry, you can use a hand mixer if you really want it, but I felt the need to use a hand whisk, but you use whatever you've got. Then give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You can then go ahead and add in all of the double cream and you'll want to whisk this in until it's fully incorporated. You will notice a change in the consistency of the mixture. Once you start to whip the cream in, it will start to thicken. It may not look like it at first, but once you start, it will thicken up very quickly, so be careful not to over mix the mixture, otherwise you'll have to discard the whole thing and restart from scratch. You can then go ahead and give the bowl another scraping down, and this is just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. This is completely optional, but I felt the need to add in some more Kinder Bueno, so I just got some pieces of Kinder Bueno and folded them in using a spatula until they were fairly distributed throughout the cheesecake mixture. Then you can grab your base that you placed into the fridge and just generously pour the mixture on top and it should be pretty thick and hold its shape. If it doesn't then you might want to whisk it a bit longer but if it does don't worry you're good to go. Place it all into tin and level off the top as best as you possibly can. Then you can chill it in the fridge for 6 to 8 hours. Overnight is the best option. So once you're ready to serve the cheesecake you can go ahead and make the whipped cream topping. So into your bowl place all of your double cream or whipping cream whichever you can get your hands on. You can then go ahead and add in some icing sugar, the amount may vary depending on how sweet you like it but this is the perfect amount of sweetness for me, followed by some vanilla extract and just whisk until the mixture holds its own shape. This doesn't take very long and once it starts to thicken it will thicken very quickly so be careful not to overmix, otherwise it will start to have a very unpleasant mouthfeel and it will just start to look and taste like butter. Once you've got the right consistency, place into a piping bag fitted with a nozzle of your choice, then you can go ahead and grab your Play it late, board or stand, and place a cheesecake onto it. You can then go ahead and start to pipe the cream on. You can pipe as many or as few rosettes as you'd like, but I went with just enough to fully coat the edge, but it's completely up to you and the nozzle of choice is up to you as well. Then on top I just randomly placed some of the Kinder Bueno pieces, and that was it, it was done. This is ready to be served and enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again soon with another recipe to join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, I'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to all my social media, so don't forget to go and follow me over on there as I am trying to be a bit more active. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.